Valve are still hot on getting those updates out and we got some awesome updates for you on the Steam Deck today. However, first of all, a bit of bad news. If you haven't heard already, the official Steam Deck docking station has been delayed indefinitely. This is due to a issue getting the parts. This does not affect the Steam Deck production. However, the docks have been delayed until further notice. If you are looking for the official Steam Deck dock, we don't know when that's going to arrive, but there are plenty of USB-C hubs that work, which could do the same job, or at least very similar. And if you want to see the one that I'm using here on the channel to capture all this footage and use my mouse and keyboard, etc., check out the link in the description below. On to the main news then. Biggest part of this update is that as part of the app, properties or game properties you now have this game resolution option where you can come and override the game's resolution or the resolutions that are available in game this can also be set for external displays but be warned with this update if you were plugged into a 16 by 9 display and you're using one of the third party launchers like epic games for example like i am then it does not give you this option for those launchers. If you're using Epic Games or Ubisoft Connect installed directly, you do not get that game option as it's an XE and not recognized as a game. So if you are using external display, you will get locked to the ratio of that display rather than being able to use the full screen 1280 by 800 upscaled as before. Onto the other updates then, they've added mouse cursor using the right trackpad when using built-in browser interactions. When connected to an external display this makes life quite a lot easier. They've improved the default aspect ratio behavior for external monitors so games will now default to 1280 by 800 for 16 by 10 displays and 1280 by 720 for other external displays. Now this actually has messed up some of my recordings as although I had the full screen resolution before it forces it to 720 on the Steam Deck and means I don't get a full screen image anymore. So let us know if you are using an external display whether this has actually improved things for you or like me it's actually made things worse they've improved the ui performance in the game carousels as well as the ui performance when connected to an external display i've yet to see what effect this actually has so i'm a bit skeptical on this one they've improved the controller order and we've heard a few complaints about this so it'll be very interesting to hear from you that are using external controllers to see if this has made any improvements so when using external gamepads to assign the controller slots, they will now be done by the order of input. So this should help the compatibility with the games that get locked to the Steam Deck controller even when you are using an external controller. They fixed the enable update fan control toggle, not remembering its state across reboots. If you are using the legacy fan control over the new controls that they implemented in the last update, they fixed Bluetooth controllers not working on the lock screen. Let us know in the comments below if you are actually using a lock screen. I haven't found the need to use one yet, so I'm interested to see if others are actually using the lock screen. They fixed some formatting issues on the Steam Deck Chord Summary display. Somebody will have to explain this one to me as I'm not sure what the Chord Summary page is. Fixed issue preventing deletion of some controller layouts. I still have tons from the duplicate control display, so this is a nice addition. And they've temporarily disabled adaptive brightness toggles as this was causing some performance stability issues and they want to shout out to the community for catching this one they are working on a fix but without the community input they would not have known the issue so kudos to the community and i do have to give a shout out to the steam deck community you guys are absolutely awesome and if there is anything that you guys think that should be covered in the news or gameplay videos, then let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. That's it from the news today. You've been watching God of War playing in the background while we've been doing the news. Do check out the gameplay on that and the FSSR 2 improvements. Thanks for watching and see you next time.